Hey, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. So today we are talking about battle of the sexes when it comes to lux. Is that okay, EJ? By the way, this is EJ, and you guys may, some of you may remember him. A lot of you always ask for him. I did it see a couple of years ago when he first started his Lux Junior. His Lux was short, and I said he started with um, two strand twist. That was before COVID. Yeah. Yeah, that was before COVID, right. And his hair was, you know, the little damage in the front. We got everything back. So a lot of people ask, what happened with a guy with a two strand twist? Well, he still comes to me. His mother, I just blessed his mother. Her hair takes like 30 minutes to do because she had a little bean hair. EJ head is a little bigger. <laughs> it's a compliment, girl. <laughs> she got a tiny little head. Yes, EJ still comes to me. This is his beautiful, disrespectful locks. He came a very long way. He used to balance some serious scalp issues and Jimmy with um, our antifungal washes and stuff really cleared it up. So it's, yeah, it's a lot better. Remember how it was, right? It's a lot, lot better. Okay, so my question today, I'm gonna leave the comment section open while I oil EJ is when it comes to men and women in the luck community do you think men are more obsessed with their locks or women are more obsessed with their locks ej who do you think when it comes to men and women in the lock i'll put i'll put in my two cents in a little bit but ej if off the top of your head who you think is more obsessed with your locks i think it depends on the age range for a okay, lot of that's a, actually a good one. guys right now that are my age are obsessed with either locks or braiding their hair. And what age is that for the, for the listeners? Uh, 18 to like 25. So they're obsessed with the braiding, the look. Yeah. And the older generation of lock people like my generation, 70s, 80s people. It's mostly the women. Uh, it's mostly the women. Hmm. <laughs> I, 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 come, you can point for this here. Yeah? Pin that on your clothes so they can hear you. They can hear me. I speak loud. I beg, I beg to differ with okay. that. Okay, you beg to differ, mommy. Why, uh, Maureen, why do you think, what do you think? You put it in your two cents. Um, I think um, women are not so prone to spend so much time with their hair when they have their hair locked. Okay. Because most of them are natural, they're not looking for this everyday style, Styling, put, putting okay. up, pulling down, pinning up, you know, braiding. Right. As, you know, as much as men are these days. Okay, okay. And the neatness of it. The neatness of it. Right. Okay, okay. You actually both make a good point. See, but, I would go be ahead. inclined to agree, but go I ahead. remember when you first started doing your locks, you were getting your locks dip chains in different styles. So you were that person. That's why I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> so she's saying there was a shift, like women yes. of today are no, okay. Mm -hmm. It kind of, she actually um, said something what I'm gonna emphasize more on. Okay, so this is what I've learned. Again, I was born in the 70s, I'm in my 40s. And growing up in the 70s, we dealt with the Rastafarian culture. Yeah. Locticians did not exist. True. You, people with locks did not go sit in somebody's chair to get their hair done. Mm -hmm. Right? So let's fast forward to the late 80s, 90s, around that time. Just ballpark. I'm guesstimating it, of course. So guys, don't correct me. I don't want to leave a comment. No, it wasn't that year. It was 1984. <laughs> just keep it to yourself. You're just guesstimating this. All right? Um, there were a place, a uh, place, uh, a place where people with locks could go sit and get their hair done and get it styled and all of that. When I first started this business, actually, most of my clients were all men. I had two female clients. One is still my client to this day. We call her kitchen sink. I've done a video with her many times because the first time I washed her hair, I washed her hair in my kitchen sink at my old location. Yeah, so we call her kitchen sinker. And, and the other lady, she passed away years ago. So they were all men because men were the ones of all age groups, EJ, of all age groups. How that feel, girl? Yeah. Right, I know you like that. <laughs> of all age groups, men were like, listen, I just want my hair done. I want to keep my locks. I've been doing this for many years. The past seven years or so, there was a shift where the women were the ones, when I first started this, who were getting their hair done. Like what you said, your time when mm -hmm. you start, not your age as in how old you are, meaning the age mm -hmm. of your locks. Right. When you started, 
you were all into the style and stuff like that. So those are the type of women I was meeting all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to read to us in a style and blah, blah, blah. And the men, on the other hand, was like, how oh, your hair looks right now, Egypt. Just right? Yeah, right. Just, we just want it healthy. In the past seven, eight years, something has shifted. The men are the ones who are now obsessed with your looks. They are, like he said, so you both actually right. The men are the ones who are obsessed with your looks. I now have more female clients than male clients. I told you, back in the day, for almost two years, I only had three women. They were all men. Right? No, the men, the problem. So I get women who they're coming to me with whether well, damage here, thinning here, whatever. And that's why you all need to put your phone on vibrate. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, the women are coming with, listen, even the ones who just started their love journey the same time with you, EJ. Take a deep breath. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah, that blood circulation, right? Yeah. Yeah, the women uh, who is his lock time, his lock age, mm -hmm. and younger, they are not doing the styles. I'm talking about the type of clients who comes to me. I mean, this mm -hmm. is just a, the people, my my point of view are the type of people who are coming to me. So I don't want anybody to take this personal and thinking I'm speaking to them saying, oh, but I go get my hair side. That's it. We are talking about what I have noticed in my line of work. So the past seven, eight years, as I was saying, but what I noticed is that a lot of the luck queens are just like, listen, I'm not styling nothing. I leave it alone. My last love journey, my hair thinned out, so I started it over. Or the ones who hear thin, who was like you. When I first met you, your hair was damaged. But look how it is now. We brought it all back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there has been a shift. Point is, men in the present time, my personal observation, I have noticed that men are more obsessed. Even when people call to book an appointment, you will quicker hear a man say, hi, I want to book an appointment. I want to come in for a retwist and a style. Could you do an update? That's the voice. Maybe they're leaving me. Mm -hmm. The women, on the other hand, are like, hey, I just want to come because some people leave a little, you know, a little Extra description on the mm -hmm. voicemail saying, you know, I saw your videos. I just want to come in. I want to come and get healthy lots. So when I ask them, you know, why you want to come to me? I really just want healthy hair. So there has been a shift. So for the viewers who's watching this video, leave your comments. Do you think men are now obsessed with their looks? Do you think times hasn't changed, that women are still obsessed? What Are you obsessed still as a man or if you're a woman? You know, tell us what you think. Leave your comments. I'm about to go bless EJ. Are you obsessed with your looks, EJ? Uh, a little. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> not, you're not. not in terms of you're styling, not. but I... I'm, for me, I've always wanted to grow out my hair. Mom would have let me until I turned right. 18, mm -hmm. but I've always... So what is your obsession? Long hair. Long hair, that, that's not an obsession. Obsession <laughs> meaning the neatness, the, the look. Neatness. Are you upset with it? Uh, every hair and style? That's the obsession we're right. talking about. I'm mm -hmm. fine with any style. As right. Long as it's Once it's healthy on yeah. your head. All right, there we go. Well, you don't graduate, Maureen. You good. <laughs> you know where... You can pin that on me if you like, you know. Yeah, just pin it on your, on your little stringy thingy. Mm -hmm. All right, let me bless this crown quickly, guys. It's beautiful, it's thick, it's disrespectful, and it's growing like wildfire. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bless them now, guys. The yeah, times has changed. It, it has changed. I, the men are the ones who are like, you know, but the women, the women who are coming to us, to Jimmy and I are like, listen, Yanni, I just wanted healthy. Either they learned from past their past luck journeys. Some of them have started over their locks and they're like, you know, I did this before. All my hair thinned out. I was the one doing it or going to someone often or whatever. Or they, they've been educated by just looking at, oh, that's what happened when you do your locks or do your hair manipulated too much. I don't want that to happen to me. Men know... I, I, nothing saying nothing bad against the, the, the luck kings. I think they just don't care. Mm -hmm. They're really obsessed with how it looks. They want that glamorous, yeah. cosmetic look. And that's mm -hmm. fine. It's their money. Why not? Total, total switch. Yeah, it's total switch in the past seven, eight years. Yeah. And I think a lot of this year is done. See? Leave your comments. Let me know who Battle of the Sexes is. It men more obsessed with their looks or women? All right, I have a client who here I'm about to bless, so I can't talk more on this, but 
Leave your comment. Tell me. Are you as a man obsessed with your hair? Were you obsessed with your hair? As a woman, are you obsessed with your, with your hair? Were you obsessed with your hair? What has changed? All right, please leave your comments. Remember, we are working until the 26th. If you're trying to book us, please speak your name and telephone number clearly in the voicemail. When you leave your voicemail, I will call you between the hours of 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. That's the time I call people. All right, and guys, please enjoy your holidays and be safe. How does your hair feel, Clay? Nice. His scalp just blowing me away, man. His scalp. It's come a long <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, a long way, man. It used to look like permanently gray and crusty. Yeah. <laughs> it actually got color back in it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. The scalp used to look gray, not gray here. The scalp itself, it came a long way. Yeah. Yeah, that's from when you start putting crap in your hair. All right, Clay. We all set. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie.